All right, so let's go ahead and start building this character brief for our dwarf hero. While this is not an exhaustive list, these are some basic parameters I like to think about when beginning a new character design. First, we have genre. Genre influences everything from costume to technology. Genre can be described in broad categories like fantasy, sci-fi, post-apocalyptic, horror, western, steampunk, and so on. But we should also keep in mind the specific tone of our genre. For example, a story set in the Old West could be dark and gritty, but it could also be lighthearted and comical. For our project, we know it's set in a fantasy setting, and we also know that it's going to be a very epic scale. Huge monsters and an epic quest. We also know that the general tone of the story is going to be more lighthearted and cartoony. Next, let's think about the archetype of our character, or the role they'll play within the story. Are they the hero or heroine? The villain? A mentor or sidekick? Maybe just a simple henchman? What is their part to play in the story? For our game, we know the dwarf is going to be the hero, the main protagonist of the adventure. But he actually starts off not being a very nice guy, so he's actually a bit more of an anti-hero. Next, gender. The character could be female, male, asexual, transsexual, transhuman, non-human. How does this character identify themselves? In this case, our dwarf is going to be a male. Next, let's think about the character's personality. How they interact with other people and the world around them. What are their personality strengths and weaknesses? Are they soft-spoken and reserved? Or assertive and commanding? Calculating or naive? Are they cold, aloof, friendly, happy, sarcastic? Jotting down a few key personality traits can really help bring the character to life. I always try to show a bit of the character's personality through my character concepts, so you can get a sense of who they are just by looking at them. Our dwarf has the reputation for being especially stubborn and gruff, even for a dwarf. He also lives with a bit of a chip on his shoulder, and tends to tough things out on his own, an outcast of dwarven society. Another key element to keep in mind is the character's gameplay mechanics. This could be their combat abilities, magic powers, special skills, but they might also fit into a broader gameplay class, such as the tank, damage dealer, healer, support, and so on. In this game demo, our hero is a melee warrior, specifically a boxing champion. These martial arts skills, coupled with his dwarven toughness, make him a perfect tank, able to soak up damage as well as dish it out. The history of our fantasy world, as well as the character's personal backstory, have also dramatically shaped who this character is. Knowing a few details about this backstory can really help shape the visual direction of the character. A prince from a wealthy kingdom, for example, would probably act and dress considerably different than a simple peasant living on the streets, struggling to find his next meal. Our hero is one of the last of a disgraced warrior clan. As an outcast, shunned by members of the larger dwarven society, he barely scrapes by boxing at a local tavern. I've also added a section here at the bottom that includes specific details key story elements of note, and possible visual direction we might pull from during our research. For this project, this includes an important item our hero carries, an insignia ring of his now disgraced clan. I've also included some topics I plan to research for my visual reference, such as Nordic or Viking motifs, martial arts clubs, samurai clans, as well as the work of Golden Age fantasy illustrators. As I said earlier, this list is by no means exhaustive. While the parameters I've laid out here are pretty universal and would probably work with just about any character, this list is simply a starting point. Depending on your character or project, there might be additional information that you wish to jot down and keep in mind while you're designing your character. Okay, so now that we've built our character brief and we have a better idea of who our character is, now we can start thinking about what they might look like. Building a visual reference sheet can really help us gather creative and unique ideas. As I mentioned earlier, this stage of our research can really save our design from being cliche or just 
not that interesting. While you're collecting reference, explore broad themes across different cultures and time periods. Also, try to use various sources. It can be tempting to just skim an internet image search, but I would really encourage you to build your own library of visual reference books, sketch and take photos of museum exhibits, as well as gather collections of photography and the works of other artists. You never know what might come in handy, and sometimes inspiration can come from unexpected sources. And remember, the reference you collect should be used to inspire you, not to simply be copied in your character design. These images should spur new ideas and get your imagination flowing, not just a bunch of random things you stitch together to make a design. This collection of images can really aid you in all aspects of the character concept. Costume elements or fashion design, facial features and expressions, any kind of symbols, logos, or typography, specific textures, patterns, materials, really anything that sparks your imagination and helps you visualize the character better is a good thing to add to your reference sheet.